you have to understand, sister, that uh, it's a blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal and a favor and a bounty. Just like the bounty of him selecting you to be a Muslim. It's a great bounty to be able to recite the book of Allah and to understand it and to feel it in your heart. And the fact that uh, you were deprived, you were raised in, a, in an environment that did not attach importance to this uh, important matter. Uh, it's sad in itself. But I want to say it's, it's never too late, sister. Uh, if Allah Azza wa Jal knows that the slave, he or she, is sincere in their, uh, in their intention in learning his book and understanding it, and memorizing it, Allah Azza wa Jal will facilitate that for you. The fact that you have these beautiful, sincere feelings is in itself a bounty from Allah Azza wa Because a lot of people have an attitude of indifference. Uh, they could care less. Uh, I enter the masjid during Fridays. And I see people sitting there for half an hour doing nothing but pausing. They see others holding the Mus'haf and reciting the Book of Allah Azza wa Jal. But they're deprived. Uh, going into the, the practical steps of doing that. The first and foremost in importance is these feelings that you have now. <laughs> that you want to be attached to Allah. You want to be, you want to connect to the words of Allah, to the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. You want to lead this blissful life in the shade of the book of Allah, being guided by the light it has in it. These feelings, these beautiful feelings, sister, are in themselves a bounty and they're the first step. So you have the first step. What remains after that is how to go about learning the Quran. Uh, don't wait until you learn how to read it and then understand it. No, you can, alhamdulillah, Allah has facilitated in so many languages the translation of the meaning of the Quran. So that's been facilitated by Allah Azza wa So you can actually read the translation and live the meaning of the verses. I just remember the story of uh, one brother in, during Taraweeh in Ramadan, this was about maybe 30 years ago or so. Uh, he doesn't speak Arabic. He doesn't understand the uh, Quran. And the Imam was uh, a person with a nice voice. And some of the brothers from uh, Arab countries got emotional and they started and he crying. And this brother started crying. So after the salah was concluded, one of the brothers next to him asked him, he said, MashaAllah, you, uh, you understand the Quran? He said, no, not a word. He said, uh, so what made you cry then? He said, why did you guys cry? 
they said we reacted to the, some of the verses that were recited. He said, well, I have cried because I am deprived from understanding and thus crying like you. So I pitied myself that I don't understand the Quran. These beautiful feelings, as I stated earlier, reflect sincerity and truthfulness with oneself and with Allah Azza wa And I assure you, anyone who has these sincere feelings, Allah will, Allah will not let him or her down. All you have to do is start taking steps one by it's never too late and don't don't put a ceiling a, t a deadline or a, it's it's not a project that has to be handed over to a, a client at the no it's your life and your destiny so just take initiative start reading the translation of the meaning of the quran from fatiha down all the way to nas and concurrent to that Enroll in uh, Nuraniya. I'm sure you probably have heard of it. Uh, and that teaches you the, the alphabet and the connection of the letters to form words. And then it teaches you how to uh, read words in, like in sentences and so on. Uh, it's not difficult. Uh, and it's very helpful. And I have seen many people, many people benefit from this and becoming from people who don't know anything to people who can actually hold the Quran, the Arabic Quran, and read it. With the sincere feelings that you have, trust me, Allah will not let you down. Allah will not forsake you.